Good evening, my fellow gamers, memers, streamers, and dreamers. Welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment Live Show with your boy, Nikita, your host with the most but no toast. Happy to be here, everyone. Aster did an absolutely amazing job on her first stream. I am absolutely so proud of her. She did a great job, had a lot of great energy. And now I'm here with the follow-up on some more uh, really cool products that we got for you tonight. Uh, you know, I am super excited. As you guys know, all of my streams in with Star Wars uh, items, so I'm super excited about that. Sorry for not being in my Dragon Blogger uniform tonight. My apologies. I, uh, I, I, I didn't wash clothes yet. Well, I did wash clothes, but I had to use the clothes that I washed to make videos about a washer and a dryer, and so I... Uh, I, I, I ain't got no clothes. I'm sorry to tell y'all. So I, I literally am in a sweatshirt. I don't have, I even have a t-shirt on under this. So we're, we're struggle busting through tonight, but I promise it won't happen again. Uh, <laughs> you have the high ground. No, 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 no. In this situation, you are not Obi-Wan here. Okay. Let me explain that to you. Uh, I am most certainly the Obi-Wan tonight, but as I said before, We've got some really cool products for you tonight. I don't know why my chat's not loading. I have it on the app, so excuse me if it takes me a while to respond to your comments. I'm used to having it on another monitor. Now I gotta look at my phone. It's such a struggle, but um, I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and get into it. Who else is ready for some awesome products? So of course, you know it's going to be a good night when we start out with a James here product. Uh, we've got um, a really nice headset that James went ahead and covered. It's by Exa. Uh, it's the Exa Fenrir E7000. And for those of you who don't know, Fenrir is a Nordic wolf. I think it's a wolf, a wolf thing. And it looks really cool. It's a very ferocious thing. And that's definitely something that you get with this product. You get a ferocious looking headset that's going to be awesome. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and pull up the James here video. And he's going to basically show you the headset, all the cool features, and even do a mic test. So make sure that you pay attention to the quality that he has both before and after the mic test so you can judge if this is the headset for you. Hey, today we're taking a quick look at the new product, guys. This is for me. Quick look, as you know, when it's James means at least six minutes, so we're in for a journey. Mixa, this is their Finrare E7000 gaming headset. Now oh, she's going to Savi's workshop? Yo, that's so awesome, Nate. Me and my girlfriend are going to try to go sometime this month, and I'm super excited because I've never been. I've always wanted to go to Galaxy's Edge. Now, this is a wired gaming headset, so we'll work with almost all consoles or PCs, guys, or even mobile devices. Now... It does also have a USB plug, but the USB plug is just for the LEDs on this design. Now, this is an exclusive IP Werewolf design, which is where you get that the Finrare Wolf uh, name because a Finrare Wolf is a wolf. Now, we have the design here. Now, these has 50 millimeter drivers. I love James. He goes, a Finrare Wolf is a wolf. Like, yeah. Thanks, thanks, James. I, I needed I needed validation on that, but I appreciate you. <laughs> Guys, inside the package. I feel like, I, you know, I feel so bad sometimes because I feel like every time I do a James product, it's just me making fun of James for the entirety of his video. It's okay. He knows I mean well. You have the headset. You have the manual. So we're just going to go ahead and skip just a little bit to where he actually takes the headset out of the box so we can go and see it. Go ahead and see what all is included. So this is the design that held it in. We're going to chuck that aside. We don't really need that. Then you have the headset itself. And then right over here, we actually have a Ziploc bag holding the cord with the Y adapter. The Y adapter, I'm just going to show you guys. Y adapter comes in handy for the PCs. You have the 3.5 millimeter splitter right here. You have the green and you have the pink headset. So the green is for the headset. The pink is for the microphone. So make sure that for those wired headsets, if you don't have the front ports, if you're using a desktop rather, and you don't have those front ports, you will always have it on the aisle board on the back where your motherboard is. So make sure that you just fit and match colors and you're good to go. And you'll need that for your PC if you have like a regular desktop. Also, is Busy still in the chat? Busy, I got my, my blue raspberry slushy here and... Uh, I'm ready to go. Also, uh, Barbara C. Walker, hello. Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. I'm pretty sure that's my friend Dilly, by the way. Happy to have you here, Barbara. You <laughs> see, now you have your... Who wins in a fight? Prequel, OB, or Dumbledore? Prequel, OB, or Dumbledore? Definitely Dumbledore. No, nah, hands down, Dumbledore. USB plug plus 3.5. Remember, the USB plug is just for lighting. 
Then you have a nice little length of braided cable if you guys need that. Then you have the so one thing to mention about that braided cable, if you're doing wire management on your PC, make sure you keep that braided cable away from really sharp edges because uh, it, it can cause it to fray. So just make sure that if you have it on an edge, try to have some kind of like plastic buffer there or something so that you can make sure that you know you don't fray the cable because that's a really good selling point. of I love braided cables, but braided cables don't love sharp edges, sadly. And yeah, Dumbledore would definitely solo most people, especially from the Star Wars universe. Uh, we're going to skip ahead just so you can see. And this is the part that I love. I love how, yeah, I always think of like Dragon Ball Z, the way that it has like those eyes. It, it, it looks like Dragon Ball Z eyes, but you know, it is supposed to be a wolf and it does look ferocious. I love the coloring of it. Wolf face or what they call as a wolf face. Then you have the bendable microphone, which is just nice. I love the coloration of the black and green and the back greens, even on the microphone inside the earmuffs there. And I, I love how flexible the, the, the headband is, you know, like mine right here, this is metal on the top. So I, I, I have some flexibility, but not a lot, not where I'd feel comfortable with doing it often because I don't want to mess it up. But with the one that he has, I mean, you, you, you see, he has a, has a wide range of mobility here. Here's your nice little 50 millimeter earmuffs. Or ear so we're going to go ahead and skip ahead. Make sure, like I said, make sure you're paying attention to the sound quality because he's going to switch to using the mic and you'll be able to tell the difference. But with a lot of red colors. So you see how it sounds now? Let's see. DBZ fan enters the chat. Yeah, but Goku. Okay, but Goku does solo everyone. That's the thing. PCs or play. Hey guys, of course, you're probably. So I'm going to do like a before. We're going to show you guys color issues and we're going to show you guys. So this is what he sounds like. Now and then, this is the app. Well, sir, we'll start peeking a little better. Move it away. So it's just a little bit. It has that little kind of hollow sound, but for the price point of this headset and the cool, like how cool it looks, you get your money's worth. And this is not a bad quality mic whatsoever. Most gamers would tell you that this is basically how most of their friends probably sound anyway. Way it'll sound a little farther away, but with it being bendable, you can set it to the perfect section. Also, how could I forget everyone uh, at every Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live stream hosted by your boy Nikita? Make sure that you have your water bottles with you because what? Hydrate or dehydrate, everybody. That's right. Get your water bottles. Drink some water. Now, you guys, of course, you're probably hearing me move it around a little. Now, you're probably wondering what it looks like with the LEDs. So let's take a look. You guys see them on my head. It's a nice green pattern, but I'm pulling them off. I'll let you guys see them right there. As you guys can see. That is a nice coloration. I love the green eyes and the green pop. James said he loves it, so that's how you know it's good because typically his selling point is, you know, I don't hate it. And so if he says he loves this, it's a good headset. Um, but as you can see, it's a really, it's a really great wired headset to have. It has really comfortable pads. It has a nice long braided cable, and the mic quality is great for the price point that you have. Okay, hold on. Nate, you're going to have to give me a second to read all that. Let me finish up this product first. Oh. <laughs> but uh, really awesome headset. I love the lighting on the side. And it does have that conformable mic that you can basically put it to wherever you want to. It's going to sound best. You know, if it's too close and your mic starts peaking, you can always move it away. But it has a great sound, a great coloration. And for the price price point that it's at it's absolutely fantastic so again check out the Ixa Finrear gaming headset not only for Xbox One and PS4 but also you can use it on your PC which I think is pretty cool all right Nate let me read what you said let's see very true just making a, a poke at DBZ fans even though I am a diehard one myself you could be talking to someone saying I was over at my grandparents house this weekend out of the bushes a DBZ fan will emerge and say Goku soldier I mean you're not wrong <laughs> you're not wrong DBZ fans do be like that speaking of which I just saw the the new super movie the superhero movie yesterday holy it was clean it was so good I, i've been re-watching the scenes from it all, all the time if you haven't watched it i won't spoil it for you but it's absolutely amazing i loved it I, I didn't really like the animation style too much but the movie and the plot itself was actually just super good and i, I really did enjoy it um also speaking of nate the next product that we have here is a, is a Nate product. Uh, jealous that he has it, but it's the Alfaro laser engraver. And, you know, he does a really good job. I, I love this video because I think this is the dragonfly video, if I'm not mistaken. And the design that he does is absolutely amazing. So if you have any questions about this product, Nate's here in the chat. He's the one who covered it. He's the person to ask. He can tell you all the stuff that you need to know. But I'm going to go ahead and get that video pulled up so we can watch it together.
Yo, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, on his videos, he's Nathaniel. Here, he's Nate. But in the videos, he's Nathaniel. It's, he's professional. Today, I am super excited to showcase to you the Off Arrow Laser 2 engraver. So... You will answer everything, sir. That's why you had a typo. This is the LF version of the Off Arrow Laser 2, which basically stands for Long Focus Laser. This is a more high-powered version of the Off Arrow Laser 2. It comes with the Air Assist, and what this is going to... Yeah, you will be sorry. I promise you, you better answer these questions. Grr. Allow you to That's do right. is cut I deeper into you. materials. Obviously, you can engrave <laughs> it just as fine. But yes, yeah, so this is the LF. Building this machine was actually really easy. You have these aluminum frames that all you have to do is just line up, bolt together. You have to plug in the step. Also, if you're interested in this product, it is currently $50 off or 14% off. So definitely worth checking out if you're into laser engraving. Just make sure you've got a nice open space uh, to use it so that you know you don't get all funked up by the fumes and stuff so stepper motors they're already basically installed on the machine and you have to install the laser head itself so this machine does work with windows or mac and this basically is going to interface by the usb cable that plugs directly into your computer to use with laser gerbil or to use with light burn. Now you do also have this offline connector. This is a separate module that will allow you to control this without the need for a PC. But that's enough about the general specs of this. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at how this machine runs and the results. So as you guys can see here, this is the start of a brand I love the way that this looks. It like it looks like it, I know it's a laser engraver, but it's basically a little mini rave show if you're being honest with yourselves. New engraving, I guess you could say. Um, so what I did is I basically wanted to choose something that had a lot of detail. And he did. This thing looks absolutely amazing. It's like a like a dragonfly inside of a. I don't think it's a pentagram. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. It's awesome. Just to kind of test this out. Now I am not a professional in any. Sense, but as you guys can see right here, it's chugging along really well. High powered laser. You obviously don't want to look at this directly, but since this no, Nate said don't you don't want to look at this directly. That means look at it directly. Ignore what he says. He doesn't know what he's talking about. This is over just a camera. You guys should be fine to just look at this laser. This thing is actually super awesome. And so here, are look at it. Is that not fantastic? Like, this looks absolutely beautiful. Like, look at the wings. The detail on the wings is so immaculate. Like, this is a, a beautiful looking piece. I absolutely love this thing. Are the results. I chose this little weird pattern just because it had a ton of tiny, small details. And in my opinion, this could be a lot better, but not due to the fault of the engraver, but to the settings and the user itself. But honestly, in my opinion, it did come out really, really well for one of my first successful engravings because i did have a lot of engravings before and imagine reading the instructions couldn't be me i mean i certainly i certainly don't do that but you know the raw quality of what he did is absolutely amazing i have never in my life wanted to worship a dragonfly but after seeing that it's just it's got me it wins it's just amazing um so if you're looking for a, a really nice like Budget, I say budget friendly, it's still going to cost you a pretty penny, but it is one of the more budget friendly options for a really nice laser engraver. Alfaro does an amazing job at doing uh, laser engraving and that kind of stuff. And, and you can see the quality and the detail in Nate's little little piece that he had there. It's just absolutely fantastic. I, I love looking at that video because Nate did an amazing job. I know he says he can do better now, but that doesn't, that shouldn't take away from how amazing that one looks. And so definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a laser engraver to pick up. Justin does our next video here. Uh, it's going to be for a nice, awesome evaporative cooler. I was supposed to get an evaporative cooler, but it got sent to James instead. So I'm upset. I'm going to make sure that I meet James in the parking lot tomorrow at three o'clock to beat him up for getting my evaporative cooler, but <laughs> I'm joking. But no, these, these evaporative coolers are really awesome. They're really great for drier climates. Like uh, Justin, who does the product mentions that he had lived in Arizona. He had lived in 
or he lives in Southern California. It never rains in Southern California. I know I sound like a tone deaf walrus, but I love that song. And every time I think about, every time he, he, I play this video, I think about that when he mentions Southern California, but really great for dry climates. Absolutely amazing, um, like humidity control. And I love the fact that you can put cold water ice in it um, to basically help with the cooling tower. And so J Justin's going to basically show us all about it in this next video. So let's watch. I'm here showcasing this Air Choice evaporative, evaporative Cooler Tower Fan. What you get here is your typical tower fan, except you can... Oh no, Nate's brought out the copy pasta. But yeah, hit that follow button, y'all. Make sure you're following. I'm pretty sure everyone who's watching right now is following. Barbara! Barbara, hit that follow button if you're not following. Or water and ice, as well as an ice pack with it to help cool down and blow a really, really cool breeze, which dramatically cools down the air. This is ideal if you live in dry, hot climates, not in hu super humid climates, of course, but if you live in the Southwest, this is ideal. So you get the water fill container up at the top, but you can see it drains through all the way to the bottom and you can fill it in at the bottom as well. So you could choose to pour it in at the top to fill it, or you could pour it directly in at the bottom. Adding the little ice cooler, and it comes with one that you put in the freezer, you fill it with water, and then you place it in the bottom. I love the way that this thing looks like. This is a really cool little cooler fan I have. It just looks pretty cool. You can see the coils back here. Easy to clean. There's an Thank you, Barbara, for the follow. Welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment family. Happy to have you here. Nice little filter on it. Here is the bottom <laughs> container. Here is where you would add your ice pack to make it nice and cold so that you get a cool mist and it cools down the air that's blowing on you. And it makes just a dramatic difference. Living here in Southern California or used to live in Arizona, it never rains in Southern California. I told you I was going to do it. I told you. I warned you. Having the ability to just put an ice cold water will really help because we have a very low humidity level. So the water vapor and the cold water vapor that's being blown by the fan really makes a difference. And it's better than an air conditioner because it doesn't use as much power. Now, obviously, like I said, if you're in a very high humid area, you, uh, evaporative coolers don't work typically as well. But they work very well if you live in a dry climate area. I don't care if it's humid in Southeast Texas. I wanted one anyway, and James stole it from me. I'll never forgive you, James. So you can simply just close it up. Here's your water level, and it tells you when you're getting close to low. You could fill your line up to near max. I've usually put it a little over halfway. It lasts about almost two days, depending on how dry your area is. It lasts surprisingly long before you have to refill it. Now, you could use this as just a fan mode, or you could use it as an evaporative cooler where it blows cool air from the uh, water as well. You have your temperature settings where it will auto adjust and shut off if it reaches that temperature, or your fan speeds plus it oscillates. It just gives you a really, really good burst of cool air if you live in a dry climate. Again, if it's very humid, not going to cool you down too much because the humidity, it, it requires dry air for the humidity to actually cool down. Now, it still will blow like cooler air on you, but the humidity won't feel as well if it's very humid. So there you have it. Basically straightforward, a really awesome evaporative cooler. Uh, perfect. Let's see. You want anything 3D printed? I will mail out tomorrow with case. Actually, yes, I do. Uh, I need lightsaber clips. I'll send you a picture of what one looks like, but I, I, I'll pay you. I actually do need something 3D printed though. Like I'm, I'm actually really glad um, you, you mentioned that because because if you can, I, I will happily pay you for it. But um, yes, I will. You can't tell me what to do. Um, you, I lost my train of thought, but awesome evaporative cooler, really great for dry climates. Um, really amazing, uh, you know, action that you can do with the little cooling pack that comes with it. You can also just put water in there, fill it from the top of the bottom, and then you're basically good to go. You've got a, a indicator to tell you what level things are at and, you know, basically how much, how long it's going to last. Justin said putting it a little bit over halfway will last two days for him. So obviously the closer you get to the max, probably closer to like three and a half, four days. And that's just something that's really cool, especially, you know, in the hot summer times and even in, in early fall, um, in late spring, even, uh, it can, the temperatures, you know, typically are on the higher end. So if you're in a dry climate and you know, you want something, maybe you have, you don't have central air and evaporative cooler is going to absolutely be something, um, that's really cool. Let's see. You guys will love this product. So much fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I haven't seen the video for this one yet, but I know it's a Nate product and it's the, it's the Golf smart simulator. So I'm super excited to see this, uh, because I would be scared to use something like this, uh, just to make sure that I don't, cause if you know, honestly, I used to be scared when I had a Wii 
because I was always scared that I was going to like swing too hard and let go of the remote or something. So I definitely wouldn't want to do something like this inside of my house. But, you know, Nate is a go-getter and an adventurer. So I'm going to let him do his thing and show us what this product is all about. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this Fi Golf Home Golf Simulator. Now, I am not the best at golfing in real life. If anything, I am definitely the worst out of any given friend group. But let's go ahead and unbox <laughs> this and take a look at everything that this thing has to offer. So, unboxing this thing was pretty simple. All you have to do. Also, it's okay, Nate. I am also terrible at golf. I've never pretended to be good, but I, I understand the pain, brother. I understand the pain. Is just pull off that sleeve. The first thing you're going to notice is this little instruction manual, and then you're going to get the sensor. This is going to read the swing pattern and all of the other data in order to actually give you accurate results. And then you guys are going to get this kind of little quick start guide that's going to tell you do's and don'ts of this simulator. And then the next thing you're going to notice inside of the box that you get is you're going to get this little wristband. And this is just to make sure you don't launch this thing at your TV whenever it goes off. Continuing on. You're oh, going to see, that's nice that it actually has the little wrist grip because I definitely would need something like that with as clumsy as I am. have a USB-C cable and then you are obviously going to get the main unit itself. This thing actually feels really heavy. I would say nearly as heavy as a real driver. It's got a real golf club texture on that handle there, and everything on this just feels really solid and really well made. So to get started, all you want to do is basically search up either Fi Golf or World Golf Tour Golf on your app store. This is on Android or iOS. And then the next thing you're going to want to do after you install either one of those apps is basically just twist the sensor down into the top of the handle like you guys can see I'm doing here. Just be sure not to twist too hard. You don't really need to do it, but it'll go ahead and stay there. And one of the coolest things about this is if you guys have an Android TV or Apple TV, the Fi Golf app is actually right on there, which is really awesome. So we'll go ahead. Oh, see, that's really cool. If you have a smart TV, you already like immediately got an advantage with this thing. That's really cool. Launch the Fi Golf app just because this is the official app. And you guys will notice whenever you first open the app for the first time, it will take a little bit to load. But after that, you should be good to go. There's really nothing to setting this up, my friends. So now that you have the app installed and you have the setup, all you want to do is just hold down on top of the sensor right here until it starts flashing like you can see. And then the Fi Golf app will automatically recognize that it is connected. Does, I, I mean, you might get to it in the video, Nate, but does this thing have like any kind of calibration method or does that happen automatically once you uh, pair it up? And it will pair it and you are good to go. And so just kind of showing you guys some of the things you can do on this. So there's a bunch of different. Oh, that's so right cool. Now, I am just in the practice range and this kind of tells you everything you need to know. Okay. So it automatically calibrates it. That's awesome. Know about your swing. So you guys can see right here on the screen, there's a bunch of different data such as club path, face angle, attack angle. And all of this is just really cool because it's going to help you become a better golfer in real life too. And now we're on the long driving range where you can kind of see how far you can hit it and I always slice it to the right but I do that in real life too so it's not a problem with the game the question is do you slice it to the right on purpose or is it just a natural deficiency you guys can see right there I'm complaining to my <laughs> wife about uh, not being able to hit it straight we'll go ahead and try again right here so let's see how good I do on this one so I hit it a little bit less hard, but I went a little bit more straight right there, and it's really cool. Okay. This thing is super responsive. I would say there's maybe like a one-second delay into registering your swing, but after that, it's really cool. What's up, Eric? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here, bud. How you doing? Let's see. Pause when you see it zoomed in while I'm trying to get the club lined up. Wait. And now we're on a full course. This Fi Golf is that coming does up soon or did I already miss real it? real life courses. You guys can see right here, all you have to do is address it to get it started. It <laughs> say ready out loud and then you are good to swing so right here let's see how good i can get close to this key and you guys know i'm super strong right there i just didn't want to intimidate you guys so now we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> Nate's little commentary in his videos always crack me up, man. <laughs> I think it's actually kind of hard on this, but you guys can see right here that I hit it way, way, way too hard. You know, I guess I just don't really know my own strength. Continuing on right here, we're going to go for this super long putt to get birdie. 
I hope he does not throw the golf club. You know, that's what I was saying. I mean, whether he does it out of frustration or on accident, I personally would be scared too, if I'm being completely honest with you. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, Nay, I believe in you. And... Let's go. And oh yeah, I'm just like super good at most things. I you know, Nate, how many times did you have to record that to get that? I wanna know the actual factual number. You have to tell me there is no way you got that on the first things try. I do. <laughs> All jokes aside, my friends, this is an awesome simulator. Okay, okay, sure, sure, Jan, sure. Later. If you guys have been looking for something like this, if you guys are avid golf fans or looking <laughs> to get into it, I definitely recommend this one from Thigh Golf, and I will see you guys on the next one. <laughs> Uh, Nate cracks me up, man. Nate did an amazing job covering that fine golf w, uh, WD, eh, WGT edition of their, uh, you know, smart golf swing set at home. I think it's really cool that if you have a smart TV uh, that's compatible with those apps, you automatically have kind of like a one up on the game. Um, and it's super easy to set up. All you got to do is press the button on the bottom uh, to get it um, synced up, essentially. And then you're good to go. There's no real calibration. Um, he did show a little zoom up uh, footage when he was going to kind of line up his swing that that is somewhat of a calibration. But for the most part, it's good to go once you get it set up, once you sign in you're good to go the golf head oh the golf head is heavy so it you know that it is weighted so that's something that, that that makes it even even better that it has that nice little wrist attachment heavy as a real driver okay yeah so that makes it even better that it has that little wrist attachment so you don't accidentally swing it and let it fly into the tv um Fun fact, I, I have done that. It wasn't with like a, a golf thing. It was with a Wii and it wasn't my TV. I was at a friend's house, but needless to say, his parents were very upset with me and I don't think that they ever, ever forgave me. Also, what's up, Busy? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. I still got my, uh, my blue raspberry slushy with me um, in honor of you, of course, because we're blue raspberry buddies. Did you ever get your Jolly Rancher? Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing product. Thank you so much, Nate, for covering that one. Um, we're moving on to the next product, which is Justin. We get to see his size 13 feet, which he never fails to remind us that he have in this next product. Uh, it's for the Quinir foot stimulator. It has a TENS unit built in. Um, it's basically a, a, a foot EMS stimulator massager. And he basically is going to show it and his size 13 feet which again, he never lets us uh, forget about it. Speaking of raspberry, I need a raspberry pie very bad. I wish you would have said something sooner. I would have sent you the one that I just got rid of. It was just, I, I gave it to a friend um, very recently. I would have sent it to you instead because I had no use for it anyway. But at some point, I'm probably going to need another one for something. I have no clue. Um, but yeah, let's get into Justin's feet. <laughs> so this is... The Quinier Electronic Tens Foot Stimulator, but it's more than a foot stimulator. You actually plug in an entire separate, let me get my headset over here. You plug in entire separate Tens pads with it, and you could use these Tens pads on your- <laughs> Not that kind of Raspberry Pi busy, but yes, Raspberry Pi is delicious. Calves or your thighs. Yo, this, um, this barbecue place that's really close to me, they do an amazing raspberry cobbler. Absolutely fantastic. It was the first time I had raspberry cobbler. They also have a blackberry cobbler too that I enjoy, and it's just amazing. Or even your shoulders or arms at the same time you're using your foot massage. So the way this electronic stimulator works is you can't have socks on. It delivers shock tense therapy through the pads itself. So you have to be using it barefoot, right? You turn it on, you've got- Oh guys, that means we get to see barefoot Justin. Your Bigfoot himself. It's soul intensity level. You've got your pad intensity level and you have your modes. It has nine different modes and the modes uh, affect the various frequencies and pulsing that the tens do to your feet. And then of course you can set the timer and you can set the heat. The heat just has a little bit of infrared heat that shows on here. And let me uh, plug it in. I better stop making fun of Justin's feet because he's going to pop up eventually and, and then I'm going to lose my job. Turn it off because you can see <laughs> what's going on this thing. Now, I'm not going to be able to test on stream because I don't want to show my bare feet on stream. I do not have like... You Nothing. No, I, I, I didn't say I didn't say nothing, Mr. Boss Man. It wasn't me. It was it was the other Nikita. I, I, I didn't do nothing. It, w it wasn't me. You know, feet that are stream worthy. <laughs> so um, I'll be honest with you. I, my, my toenails and stuff, uh, I can't show my feet on stream. So... Uh, that, that's why I'm not able to show this on stream. <laughs> Dragons have big feet, okay. Yeah, if it helps you sleep at night. <laughs> but turn the heat on. 
And this heat that comes on here is only this part that gets warm. So when you lay your foot on it, the inner part of your soles or the inner part of your feet are the part that gets warmed up and it does warm them up pretty well. And it does a good job of that. The tens is really impressive. And I'm a size 13 foot and I only fit. There it is. I knew it was coming. I knew it was good. No, if it's anything dealing with, he's always has to mention it. It's size 13 feet. I have size 13 feet. I swim like a duck. I'm I'm big dragon foot man. I'll step on your house. <laughs> and I don't even cover this whole space. So this easily <laughs> accommodates very, very large feet to very small feet with its tens uh, as well. It's why he hates going to the beach. Just use feet, track three pounds of sand back into the house. <laughs> when I jump in puddles, I make bigger splashes. <laughs> very powerful. I accidentally turned the intensity up to level and I was like hurting my feet. <laughs> right off the bat because I, I normally takes tens pretty high on my shoulders and arms. I do not expect my feet to be so sensitive. So the bottom of your feet, depending on how callous they are, I honestly, I really soft feet, surprisingly soft feet. Um, now he's telling us how soft his feet are. <laughs> Justin doesn't get any better. <laughs> so I was really shocked at the intensity of the tens for my feet because my feet were more sensitive than say my arms and shoulders. So definitely start with the lowest intensity level and it's kind of good and bad, but when you switch modes, it resets the intensity level back to zero every time you do a mode switch. So if you switch from mode one to mode nine or mode two, it resets the intensity level all over. Hey, yo, what's up, PC Phil? I was waiting on you to show up today. How you doing? Um, <laughs> I, 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 it's funny that you, because I was going to, I'm going to have to mention you at the end of stream because I want to give you a shout out. But uh, I don't know if, if you want to zoom ahead forward and look at what's at the end of the of the carousel tonight. Um, so you you already know what I'm going to talk about. But over. So you have to basically start. Happy to, happy to have you here. And yes, hydrate or dehydrate, everyone. Make sure you got your water bottles. With start you. all over and set the intensity level that feels good to you. Oh, it's just <laughs> surprisingly soft. Why is it surprising, Justin? What you be up to? <laughs> this is actually pretty awesome. And it is, I have a video of it, which I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to publish, right? So while I was using He's, he's debating on if he's going to publish it. You know, my foot, as it's stimulating the tens of my foot. You actually, I think he does show it, right? It's for, oh, here we fast, go. Fast, quick, minor pulse, and then much stronger pulses in between. That's what this is designed for. It's designed to do that nerve stimulation in your feet. It comes with a really cool remote, easy to manage. Because obviously when you're sitting in a chair, you're not going to want to try to bend over and touch the buttons, right? So the remote's really important. Um, and again, you just flex the intensity levels up and down as you need to. Now, it, it's RF remote, right? Infrared. Uh, so you have to actually point it at the infrared. You see how I do it up here and it can't trigger it? You have to actually point it at it. So that's the other thing about the remote. The tens pads work really well like anything else. You could control the um, the pads separately than the foot uh, tens. So you could adjust just the external pads. And I recommend using them on your thighs or your your calves at the same time because you get the extra benefit. Although you can use them with the arms at the same time. I tend to like the pulses to be lined up in the same body part region. So if you need an electronic stimulator for your feet, one that actually has extra tens pads that you could use in your calves and thighs at the same time. This is a really good option. I was using this for two days testing it. It gets really, really intense. So make sure you start. So basically, first off, let me start by saying that Quinir does an amazing job at anything that they make in regards to um, massaging products. They do a lot of uh, different different types of products. So if this interests you at all, uh, it's definitely worth checking out the product page and going to the Quinier store page and checking out other products that they have because all of the stuff that they've sent us Dragon Bloggers has always been high quality. It's always been amazing. We've done giveaways of Quinier products also. Uh, so first off, that that's the, that's the first point. But second, as Justin showed and explained, uh, this is something that's going to be really good um, you know, not only for relieving tension that may be in your, uh, in your feet with those, the tens units and the heat, but it also has those additional pads that you can use for electric stimulation in your thighs or wherever else the, the, the cord will allow you to reach just depending on how you're positioned. And I think that that's something that's really cool. You know, um, as a diabetic, the health of your feet is really important. Something that I cannot stress enough, regardless of if you're diabetic or not, it's really important to keep your feet, um, you know, as healthy as possible, uh, because you know, it was suck to have to lose one um and not be able to you know enjoy the benefits of walking around on two feet uh which is something that sometimes we take for granted um and so having a device like this is really good for just making sure 
that if your feet are ailing you for some reason, you have methods of massaging them, allowing them to relax, um, and providing them with heat uh, that may help relieve discomfort. And that's just something that you get uh, which is really cool out of this product. And like I said, anything Quinir, you know, is going to be high quality, great materials, and it's not going to break your bank. Currently, this product is about 10% off. It's regular, close to $100 right now. It's about 90. So you get a, a nice little discount on it. Um, and if it's something that you're looking, looking to get into, whether it's just to have something to help regulate pain in your feet. Maybe you have like nerve pain or something, or you want to give it to someone in your family who you know has feet problems. This is definitely a really good product to check out. And I, you know, Justin speaks highly of it. And so I take Justin's word um, always at face value because he's, he's not going to lie to you. He's going to tell you the truth. And it's definitely something that you want to check out. The next product that we have here is, oh, we have another Nate product, three Nate products already, and we're already, you, we're, we're barely like 30 minutes into the show. That's amazing. Uh, but yeah, just start off with low intensity. Uh, they, that's what he was saying. He prefers high intensity with the tense pads for his shoulders and stuff. But because he's got soft feet, soft little toes, <laughs> he had to bring down the intensity. I'm so sorry, Justin. I just, <laughs> I have to make fun of your feet every time. It's just, it's ingrained into me. <laughs> um, but <laughs> we got a nice uh, product coming up here. This is the Mark Life P12 Bluetooth printing label uh, maker and um ju or not justin nate did this product so we're gonna get to see him print some labels let's see i once got a pedicure and my pedicure guy was your feet are so beautiful soft like <laughs> soft like woman <laughs> you know what that's 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 that we're, we we should all get like clan names you know like uh, Nate would be fries with potatoes. I would be dances with water and Justin is soft like woman. So <laughs> Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today I'm super excited to showcase to you the Mark Life P12 Label Maker. This thing has a ton of features, so let's go ahead and just jump in and take a look at everything. Does that mean you also eat second breakfast? Anything that this has to offer. So we'll go ahead and open it up and there's really not too much the unboxing on this. You guys can see right here, the first thing you're gonna notice is you're going to get this little instruction manual so I think, first off, I think it's really cool how compact this thing is. For a label printer, it's really small. Can neither confirm nor deny the second breakfast statement. Yes, you can. You just don't want to. Well, right here. Now, the <laughs> app pretty much has all of the features that you need. But go ahead and just read through this just to learn how to get it set up. And also, Nate, encouraging reading. He's sick, y'all. He, he, he must have, this must have been one of the 17 videos he made while he was sick. That's how you know. For maintenance and just other stuff like that. You guys can see right here, there's really not even much to the instruction manual, but continuing on, you're also going to get this little holder right here, which has this. Wait, Justin, are you back to drinking coffee again? I thought you gave up coffee. I thought we were doing tea now. You back to coffee already? Cute little bear right on top. At least I think that's a bear. And the next thing that you're. <laughs> At least I think that's a pair. You're going to get inside of the box is a USB-C. You broke Justin. Come on. How long did you make it before you finally broke down? You did. Thir okay. That's still impressive, though. I won't get on you too hard. 13 weeks. Um, 13 weeks is, 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 is still fairly impressive. The cable. And it's just nice to see that they are using newer technology to get this thing charged. So you're definitely going to have faster charging. And then we're going to get the main unit itself. Now, while the Mark Life P12 label maker might seem a little bit small, it is definitely very mighty and has a ton of awesome features. Hey, got, you see where his priorities are? He chose Chipotle over Amazon live stream. Just keep that in mind. He's built into it. And that's basically it. But enjoy your, your dinner, Justin. I hope you enjoy For that, it. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at also, while we're at it, hydrate or dihydrate, y'all. The Mark Life P12, and just kind of see everything that it offers on the main unit itself. So you guys can see right here, it's got this really nice ice white finish around it. On the side, you're going to have the cutter as well as the door that you need to open this up to replace. I haven't either, and there is no Chipotle close to me anymore. I used to live walking distance from a Chipotle, and now there's in my in my city there's no close Chipotle. You have I have to go to the next city over if I want Chipotle. The label whenever you need to do that, and then the next thing you're gonna want to do after that is just go to your app store on your Android or iPhone and look up Mark Life. And once you get Mark Life popped up, go ahead and install that and open it up, and I will walk you through the. Okay, I'm not trying to make fun of Nate, I promise, but he got some chonky sausage fingers. Process to get it set up. 
Or at least thumbs. He's got chunky sausage thumbs. Because it's super easy. All you have to do is basically enable Bluetooth when it prompts you to. Hold down the power button until it flashes green as you guys can see. I'm just making fun of everyone today. I'm on a rampage. Someone stop me. See right there. It is now lit up. Then the next thing you're going to do is go back to the app. And once you get back inside of the app, there's really not much left to do to. So basically, once you got the app set up, it really it's really easy to just go straight forward to getting into the printing labels. I'm going to move forward to where we can actually see him printing some labels. And here is the part where you can see the different sizes that you want to make. Uh, the, the measurements are in millimeters, so make sure if you have to print labels, you, you make sure you get the proper dimensions that you need. So you print the label that's going to best fit your needs. So here we get into the actual printing. And then right off of the bat, super, super fast. Oh my god, you know what you you can make like little fortune cookie thingies with this. Just this prints almost immediately after you click the print button on your phone. Now I didn't choose the right size, that's why it is so long. But you guys can see right here also how sharp this is. It just cuts it right off. And this is serrated tape, so all you have to do is peel it in the middle. And you guys can see right there that the picture looks super good. So let's test out another feature. All right, so you guys can see right there, I just chose a photo of my dog Ninja laying on his little doggy bed. It has it rotated right here, so we'll go ahead and- Wait, I've never gotten one of those. Is that a thing? Does that happen? Click print. You guys can see right here that you're able to select all your options again. We'll hit print and just see how this comes out. And you guys can see right here, it is printing the full blown photo. And I accidentally had this print a very long label again, but that's just my fault. Look at him, he's just wasting tape, y'all. That is not the label. I literally explained beforehand, even though he had already pre-recorded this video, that you need to make sure you pick the right dimensions and he didn't listen to me beforehand in the future, so that's his fault. Will maker's fault, obviously. We'll go ahead and cut this and you- I said a lot of words there and I don't know if I said them in the right order to mean what I was trying to say, but uh, I'm sure you understood what I was trying to say. You guys can see just how sharp this thing is. I am basically barely holding this, but whenever I pull it out, you guys can see that I almost have to give it absolutely zero tension just because it is so sharp. So it's really awesome that it cuts away really clean. And then you- Exactly, exactly. Now, if you look at the quality of this label, as you can see, it renders the image um, black and white. And so while it's not like, the best representation of the picture that he chose it still does a good job but like you can definitely tell when he zooms in that it's the dog on the bed uh but you know just it not being color is just it takes away from the picture slightly so really you should stick it to to being just like text or black images that are already designed to be black and white and they do an amazing job at you guys can see right there and actually really good detail the little label that it made of my dog yeah so if you guys have been looking for, for you're exactly right for text and barcodes, essentially. Very super easy and super fun to use label maker. I highly recommend the Mark Life P12. This was Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and I'll see you on the next one. So Nate did an amazing job basically showing how to set up and how to do the features. Though he didn't choose the correct size because he wasn't paying attention or he wasn't measuring what he needed, um, he still did an amazing job of showcasing how easy it is to use, how easy it is to separate it from, you know, because it has those serrated edges and how easy it is to cut where you need to go back. Made my rounds to say to other... Only other two people I follow on here. Oh, okay. Uh, we were just making fun of you for not knowing how to print a label. That, that's that's what you've missed. <laughs> but absolutely amazing uh, portable mini like label um, printer. Um, currently 8% off, regularly about almost $40. Currently about $36. So um, definitely worth checking out if you need a, a label printer for sure. Um, you know, you can have a lot of uses for it. The next couple of products are ones that I have on hand with me um, and products that I've done, so I'm super excited to show those for you. The first one is the Sony VZ, or ZV1 VZ1, um, which is an absolutely amazing digital camera. Um, Justin got one for me, uh, James and Nate to do all of our videos on, and this thing is absolutely amazing. Every video for the most part that you see Nate does is shot on this, so you guys already know what amazing quality it has. Uh, I've, I, I'm the latest one to get one, so I've been recently experimenting with mine, but this thing has absolutely amazing quality, and I actually have a video tonight that I'm going to show you that I did on this, and it's just an upgrade. Y'all saw, I was using it for my camera uh, for a while. I haven't set it up because for some reason, 
reason it doesn't uh, look that amazing with Streamlabs, uh, or it doesn't work well with Streamlabs because of the cam link, but I'm going to um, be using this for a lot of my, if you don't know how to do it quickly. What are you talking about? Play what? What am I playing? You haven't sent anything. Um, but no, absolutely amazing camera. It has a lot of cool features. Uh, now, one thing that I'm used to, so I, I, I haven't had a handheld camera like this in a long time. On Discord? I don't see anything on Discord. You're lying to me, Nate. Um, oh, there it is. What is this? Oh, you know what? I can actually set this up. I can set it up pretty easily too. Nate wants me to show something to you guys, so I got to do it because if I don't, he's going to yell at me. Um, you might not have known this. Hold on, let me go ahead and pull this up so that we can watch it. I'm gonna name it Nate's video. Okay, let me go ahead and pull this file up. You better be glad I know how to use this stuff. Otherwise I'd be upset. Let's see if I can get it to play. All right, here we go. Hey, yo! Yeah, see, I knew it had that high frame rate, but that is so cool! Yo! Look at it! I'm actually super glad that you showed me this. This is really awesome. That was really cool. I, I was not expecting that, honestly. But yeah, th this camera is fantastic. It has so many cool features. I have yet to explore it, but I did know that it had that. I hadn't had time to play with it yet. But I've been using it for a lot of my um, a lot of my videos, and I just I, I love this thing. It shoots in high quality. Like this is a 4K cam that I have right here. But everyone noticed, and I will get back to using, I'll be using this next week because I'm no longer going to be using Streamlabs for my Amazon streams. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to OBS Studio because I'm tired of the problems that this this thing causes with, it's not, it's not the camera's fault, it's the Stream Link and the Elgato that I use that causes Streamlabs to kind of crash. So I'm going to be switching to OBS. But it's got this really cool display. I mean, you can either, you can even switch it um, to demonstrate on the other side so you guys can see what's in front of me. Um, I know it's kind of kind of weird to see, but you can see what's in front of me and stuff. And it's just really cool for basically setting um, setting up really nice photo scenes and stuff. The quality on this thing, I, words do not do it justice at how crisp and clean videos look. The smooth 60 FPS looks absolutely amazing. And there's so many different settings uh, you can set it to. Um, you know, detect low light. You can set it to focus on macro shots. Um, yeah, apps 30, 60, 120, 240, 480, and 960 FPS. So just fantastic uh, video quality at 4K. And you just you just cannot beat this thing. I'm going to play Nate's video one more time uh, because it was just really, really cool. Um, and I just want I want to see it again personally. So you can see just how high quality this is and then when i show you guys the video later tonight about the one that i did with this video you'll see what i'm talking about compared to my other videos which is look at this look at that that's so cool that's so cool i love that i love that absolutely i hope he didn't get his camera wet but i love that that's just really awesome so i mean that basically just just tells you like the, the quality of this thing is absolutely fantastic would highly recommend this camera for anyone who just wants to have something that's either just cool for their vacations if you want to make like high quality content if you want it this is a really nice vlogging camera too um and as you can see like we use it with our with our amazon streams for the most part nate does every stream with his i believe um, I was doing it with mine for a while, but when it caused issues with my stream labs, I'd rather use the other 4k cam that I have to cause, you know, so my stream doesn't randomly, uh, close on it, uh, on myself, but, um, I'm going to get, be getting back to using this one because the quality just cannot be beat. Yeah. Zero issues with, see, I haven't switched yet. I'm still using slobs, but I'm going to get ready to switch over. Um, because I, I, I love using this thing. It just, it makes me look good. Like, I mean, I already look good, you know, but it makes me look better. And that's a, like... I you typically 
when I look in the mirror, I'm like, yeah, I look pretty good. And then I try to take a selfie and I'm like, no, this isn't working. But now I, I look in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, I look pretty good. And then I take a picture with this and I'm like, yeah, I look amazing. Like, let's go. Let's get some, you know, and, um, it's just absolutely, oh, no crashes. Awesome. So I, I know I'm going to, I know I'm going to get mine set up this week. So when I come back next week, I'm good to go. But yeah, that's the Sony, uh, VZ one Z zv1 i mess up every time and it's just an absolutely amazing camera uh for its price point great vlogging camera has a really good built-in mic too so definitely worth checking out next up we have another cool product that i also have on hand to show you i'm gonna go grab it real quick i don't know if this brand is pronounced hoto like in spanish or if it's joto but it's a really cool waterproof case um and it's just absolutely amazing now my phone already has a case on it and this case with the case on it will still fit in here i have an iphone 13 base model so i have a uh, i wouldn't say i have a small phone but i have like a mid-range phone because like the samsung phones are bigger and then there are smaller phones like the iphone mini uh but it will fit in here with a case i can't say the same for other bigger phones with cases but it definitely fits with a case it's super easy to use all you have to do is in the front you have to flip these up that unlocks it and then this thing will spread apart you put your phone in there and then you want to make sure you put it back in there and you slide the little straight forwards um through the hole and make sure they're lined up because you don't want them to be misaligned. You want to get one in and then you get the other one in. So they're sticking straight up as you can see. And then you just fold them down. And then it basically creates a, a nice locked seal so that you can have your phone in the water. And I also really like that it comes with this lanyard too that's super easy to attach so that you can walk around with it around your neck and you don't have to worry about uh, losing your phone, especially if you're in the water and you wanna take some underwater pictures. Now, what I also really like about it is that even though it has this plastic case and I had a case on my phone, I was still able to use the, the touch screen on my phone, like it didn't impede it at all. And I just think that that's super cool. Now. What you'll notice right now is that typically it's about $20, but currently you can get it less than $10 for both of them, um, which I think is a steal. It's currently 58% off. And if you need a waterproof case or you plan on traveling, I definitely recommend these. You get two. I have the other one over here, still basically brand new, and it comes with the lanyard so, um, already uh, ready for it. So if you didn't want to use the lanyard, you don't have to, but the, I would recommend using the lantern if you're going to have a case like this, because this, you, although it would fit into your pocket, it probably wouldn't do as well in your pocket, but these are absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to take these on me the next time I travel. Um, cause I cruise a lot. And so this is just absolutely amazing. I don't have to worry. Cause I, let me tell y'all something as much as I cruise, I don't know how to swim. I'm scared of water. Like they basically have to push me off the cruise ship when there's like a tender because I hate being over open water and having to walk from one boat to another. I want to be on a boat. And when I'm walking off that boat, I want to walk to land, not to another boat. And I'm, I don't know. I have this uncon, like this fear that I'm always going to drop my phone. And with these Johto waterproof cases, I feel like I would no longer be scared because not only will I have the case, um, waterproof my phone but i also have the nice little lanyard so i know that i have double protection so it won't fall off of me and and just being able to quell that anxiety is something that i really appreciate but but you, it's still gonna be a struggle to get me off that boat but at least i know my phone gonna be safe <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, that's it's a really it's a really amazing um extra protection for your phone that you just you just can't beat that Next up on our list tonight, we've got this really cool Havdon two-pack power tool organizer, and it was really easy to install. Literally took me about two minutes to install it. No issues whatsoever. It's very straightforward. There are two installation methods that you can use. Uh, one involves glue and one involves just screwing into a wall. I'm old school, so I just prefer screwing into the wall as opposed to using glue because I always feel like the glue might come undone or due to elements, it might weather away. And you know, you with a, with a, a, a a screw and and a, and a wall you know that it's going to be stuck into that wall you don't have to worry about it falling so that's why i choose the installation method that i did but if you want to give it a shot it does come with like some super ultra adhesive and you can check it out but i'm going to show you that in the video so let's go ahead and pull that up and watch in my garage and i'm getting ready to install my two-part uh, tool rack essentially this is one it comes with another now as you can see it has this little back plate 
that has these cool little screw covers. Basically, once you take these screw caps off, it leaves this plate alone. Now you have two installation methods, which the instructions do a great job at explaining. You can either use this, this adhesive glue that it comes with to put this plate onto a wall. And then basically, um, once you put that plate onto this wall, you line it up with this and then you put these screw caps on and it is basically going to look how it's assembled here. Or you can do how I did in the old fashioned method. And you can see how I have my screwdriver hanging up here already. But all you have to do is basically just put in the two screws, line it up, make sure it's level and then put it in. And as you can see, I already have my Black & Decker uh, drill here just ready hanging and ready to go. Um, so it was super easy to install. It took absolutely no time. It'll take a little bit longer if you want to use that other method that's demonstrated here with the glue because you got to make sure that the glue has dried, has had enough time to make sure to hold the weight, and then you got to put this back on. I'm more old fashioned when it comes to stuff like this, so I'd rather just have the screws because I know the screws are in the wall and I don't have to worry about the glue um, peeling or anything. So if you're looking for a really awesome uh, tool rack to have um, that is definitely sturdy will hold on you know I can I can grip this and pull down pretty hard and you know it's it's in the wall so it's sturdy and ready to go definitely check this one out so absolutely I didn't mean to be playing uh, but really cool mount for my tools I only have one tool to use it with currently but I'm hoping to expand my tool repertoire if if, if Justin will send me some more power tools to use them with I, I wouldn't complain if you ask me if I wanted more power tools, I say yes. I would. If you ask me, I say yes. If you want to, Justin, that's that's up to you. I'd say yes. <laughs> but really awesome, really easy to install. Like I said, it took me like two minutes um, just lining up the screws, making sure it's leveled, screwing them into the wall. Um, the glue method would take a little bit longer because you got to make sure that the glue has time to dry and sit before you try to put weight on it. But of course, if you just use the screw into the wall, you're good to go immediately and just um, absolutely fantastic mount, super simple and super sturdy. And I would recommend it to anyone looking for a nice tool organizer to have outside in their garage or something. Now, next up, we have this really cool faucet. And this video taught me a lot more than I thought it was. This is done by Dragon Blogger Demetrius. And I'm always happy when I get to cover uh, one of his products uh, because he takes a lot of, um, you know, does a lot of good work in his videos. And he taught me a lot about faucets in this one. But basically, he's going to be showing us the Water Song Walk. Water song waterfall spout faucet and I've always wanted a faucet like this I love going to restaurants or hotels that have faucets like this because they've always been so cool to me And for the price point you get that super high quality Waterfall type faucet that I love and he's going to show you how to install it how it looks afterwards and how it performs and and You know, we're gonna watch this together as one big old dragon blogger happy family It's 100% lead free as you can see is a bassin faucet by water song bassin Basin faucet. Basin, my guy. Basin. It's okay. Uh, it's basin and you busting, Demetrius. Let me just open it up for you. So with this, you know, it's easy to really open it up. You pull that tab down and open up the box. It comes in a black padding at the top. It has uh, instructions how to put it on, uh, which is pretty much plain and simple. I'm going to show you in the video. Uh, but yeah, it's by Water Song. And again, it has that black foam on top. Really, really skinny. Oops. A little bit of protection on it. You know, really solid box. Um, but there, here you go. That light black slick color just makes it pop. As you can see, um, it has the handle in the front. It has the hot water hose and the color is as you can see is about you know twenty inches long. We're pretty much long. Um, and you also have the blue, as you can see for the cold. Really, really smooth. Really soft feeling. Uh, and as you see, you turn it hot, cold, and has that waterfall at the very, very top. Uh, this is the piece right here that goes on the bottom whenever you stick it inside the hole. For So basically, for the majority of this video, he goes through all the pieces that it has and basically the installation process for the actual faucet. So, you know, we'll skip ahead and we'll see him uninstalling his other faucet. Watch that for a bit and then show you the final product. That one right there, whatever it is in your, in your house. Uh, See, there we go. Um, I unscrew the hot and water, turned it off, of course. Um, the ball right there is... Uh... This man's went above and beyond the call of duty to show us how to install a new faucet, and I will forever be thankful for that. Um, the way you pull it up to stop the water uh, from draining, and then you just simply just unscrew the ball right there if you have one of those. Uh, pretty simple. 
Um, you just pull, comes right out just like that. Really, really easy to uh, take out. Uh, no tools required yet um, with this. And then you have the water from the top, which connects on uh, the top of the sink. And you have the gray connectors right there, two of them, which uh, you just unscrew right like, just like that. And then you'll take some pliers uh, to unscrew the uh, water hoses right there on, on that green bolt right there. Um, and just, just like that, you pull that off, the water hoses, and then you unscrew the gray piece. This is the top of my sink, and I'm going to be putting it in um, just right in the middle, even though I have three holes. Um, it didn't come with this plate, but I bought one off Amazon just to cover the plate. But in this one, it didn't come with it, so I just bought that, and you just set that just on top, just like that. Pretty plain and simple, line it up. And then from there, you just stick the hot water and the cold water um, hose down in there just like that. And boom, there you go. Um, there's a black piece also, a little foam piece that will go uh, in between the wires and in between the plate and the uh, faucet. And just like that, boom, there you go. And then to reconnect it, um, you will use that gold piece I showed you earlier in the video. And you will put it around the metal hose in between, like that piece right there. And there's the gold piece I was talking about. So the gold piece, you just put it up there. The silver piece will just slide up right up there. And the gold piece will um, turn clockwise. And as more as you turn it, it will turn all the way up to the top and gets uh, really tight to hold that faucet in place. So as you can see, that's basically a big part of the actual, let's see, you wouldn't like my video of installing this. It would be family friendly with all the words. <laughs> you know what? I feel the same way, Ed. Uh, <laughs> I absolutely understand that. Uh, but the end result of this is absolutely amazing. I love the way that it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, it, the final product essentially. But yeah, I would get frustrated with something like this for sure. My wife loves it. I love it. Highly recommend this product. Um, here's it with the water on here pretty soon. It leaves a little bit of water residue on top, uh, but uh, it evaporates after a while. Um, and I'm gonna have the water going right here for you. Flowing just like a waterfall right there. I like that and I hope you love it. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, I thought it was 360, but as you can see my mirror in the background, it, it won't turn all the way because it would just hit hit the mirror. But yeah, it turns from left to right. And it's a really, really solid piece. And uh, like I said, I highly recommend this part. So yeah, absolutely fantastic uh, faucet. Um, you know, I just absolutely, it looks fantastic. Like I said, I love going, <gasps> excuse me, actually while I'm at it, hydrate or dihydrate. Um, and so, um, if you're looking for, um, a really nice faucet, like I said, it reminds me of those really high quality faucets that you get when you either go to a restaurant or a hotel. And I've always loved the way that it's in that basin style waterfall kind of faucet. It just looks absolutely amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. And I, I'm jealous that he gets one. I want one like that too. And I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to work on, on getting one because I would definitely love to have one in my bathroom because they just look so sleek. And I love that black and that black will basically, um, match anything and so uh if you're looking for a really cool um you know basin style faucet to have definitely check out that water song one it's absolutely amazing and if if you don't know how to install it make sure you go to that product page and look up my boy demetrius's video because he will show you how to do it step by step and what to do and what not to do so i think that that's something cool um <laughs> But yeah, moving on to our next product is a product that I personally have also. I don't have it with me on hand to show you, but I have the video of it. And it's for the Michelangelo pots and pans, like the anodized cookware set. And I did this yesterday. Absolutely fantastic. I love the color. It's, is it still on sale? I wonder if it's still on sale. I can't. 
Oh yeah, it's still on sale. So you can take a hundred dollars off. And there's a coupon. There's a clickable coupon. Take a hundred dollars off. You can get this this nice pots and pans set for fifty nine dollars. And I promise you, it's worth it. They're so easy to clean. They're easy to use. I love their blue. blue is my favorite color. I love the blue grips that they have. They're really good at dissipating heat. The only critique that I had about this set was I didn't like how flimsy the the tools that they give you that come with are. But it's honestly not that not that big of a deal really and it's still definitely worth checking out for sure so this, this is my uh, absolutely amazing michelangelo pot and pan set and i'm super excited to use it so as you can see there's a bunch of different stuff that comes with it It comes with like these really nice spatula and ladle a nice small pan a larger pan that's over here three different types of pan or pots to boil stuff in or maybe if i wanted to sear something with a lid because the other um, pans don't have lids and then it also has this really amazing pot set here that has a steamer attachment that i can put on top if i wanted to steam something and i think that that is absolutely amazing now one thing that i really love about this set is the fact that not only is everything non-stick but everything also has this really nice blue grip that's really good for heat dispersion and also making sure that you have a grip on the actual pots and pans. And I just absolutely love that every single thing in this set comes with it. Now I'm going to demonstrate the nonstick features and how easy it is to clean on the smaller pan. So let's go ahead and get into that. So I've let my pan heat up a little bit and I've got my trusty spatula with me that was included with this. So I'm going to be using that also. But I have an egg. I'm going to go ahead and crack the egg, season it, and then basically... Oh, what's up, Evans? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Sorry, sometimes my Amazon chat doesn't update all that fast, so I have to use my phone sometimes. But happy to have you here, Evans. Welcome to the stream. And um, then clean it and show you guys how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and crack the egg. I'm going to put a little seasoning on it. So I got some pepper. Put a little bit of that on there. I was getting fancy with the seasonings. I put some uh, pink Himalayan salt on this uh, this egg. This egg was delicious, let me tell you. Onion powder and a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. And then I'm gonna take the spatula and just kind of toss and scramble it around. And there's not putting no oil in here or anything. Now, one thing I will say about this, I know it's better to use a plastic spatula in it, but I'm kind of used to a metal one. Um, so this one's just a little bit flimsy. Only took 20 times refreshing to post in chat. Oh, you know what? It might not, it might be an Amazon thing because I've been having to refresh my chat a lot to get it to. Um, so it might just be Amazon. It might not be you, Evans. Uh, but, um, as you can see, this egg cooked really nicely. The only issue that I had again was that the the tool to the the spatula was just a little bit uh, flimsy, um, and so um, that was the only uh, comment that I had to make about it. But basically, I leave the egg residue in there, and I go over to my sink once I'm done, uh, and basically just kind of wipe it off with a sponge. No water, or anything. The sponge is dry, and it was able to um, basically come off. Metal is non-stick. What do you mean? Oh, metal and no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use metal and nonstick. I just wanted a more firm, uh, plastic spatula. It was just really kind of flimsy, and the more heat that it got, it was just, it was worse. But no, I definitely wouldn't put metal on nonstick. I promise you. It's just, I wanted something a little bit more sturdy. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was just, it was, it's okay, bud. It's just, it was just a really flimsy, like plastic spatula. So what I was telling people last time when I was doing this product is, I would recommend getting like a third party more sturdy spatula if you're like me and you like something more sturdy because that was the only thing that that i really didn't like about the set otherwise the set itself is perfect smoking a little bit but everything comes off super easy i'm barely um rubbing with it um and it's coming out i'm not putting much pressure at all and just look at how without soap or water it just everything just comes off super easy and it's it's just amazing how um well the michelangelo set 
um, the non-stick feature is. It's just absolutely amazing. So as you can see, everything is perfectly um, clear off of it. I'm still gonna wash it just to make sure I get like you know the germs and bacteria and stuff off of it. But for the most part, just absolutely perfect. So if you're looking for an awesome non-stick set of pots and pans, definitely check out the Michelangelo set. But yeah, it's it's really cool. It's a really nice set. Like I said, the non-stick features is just something that you cannot beat. I love the blue color because blue is my absolute favorite color. And I love the fact that it has these really nice blue handles to go ahead and dissipate the heat. And it's just a really cool set to have. You have a pot and a or and or a pan for essentially everything. It comes with that nice ladle and spatula. And like I said, the only downside that I had to that was the fact that the spatula and ladle were just a little bit flimsier than I would have liked. But that's the worst thing that I can say about this entire pots and pan set. And I think if that's the worst thing that you can say about something, then it's a pretty good product, as I always say. Moving on to the next product, we have this really cool tumbler that I've been using consistently. I love this thing and it comes with a lot of cool features. So first off, the tumbler itself will keep stuff insulated for a long time due to its double wall vacuum technology that it has. It's just absolutely really cool. It comes with two metal straws and two little plastic covers for the straws if you didn't want to use the straw directly. Um, here is one. This is with a bent, a bent straw with a, the clear plastic cover for the top to basically help the straw do its straw thing. And then it also comes with another one that's a straightforward tube and it also has a black uh, little rubber top that you can put on it. Now, my favorite part about this thing is I always struggle, like when I'm washing dishes, I always struggle to clean straws because I never really know what to do. Like, do you just sit it and let it run some hot water through it? You know, maybe put a little soapy water through it. But with this, all the guesswork is gone because this thing is really cool for getting up in there and cleaning. And you can just literally put it on one side, go all the way up. It comes to about like right here. So to make sure you get the entire length of the straw clean, you would just simply flip it over to the other side, run that thing back through there, and you're basically good to go. This is like, I I know it's weird to say because the tumbler is really good at keeping pots hot and colds cold, but my favorite feature about this thing is this little cleaning bristle because it makes it easier. Like I can drink whatever I want to out of my cup and I know that I'm going to be able to clean the straw, whether it's like a thick smoothie or maybe some alcohol, maybe, you know, some juice or something. I know I don't have to worry about it being sticky and nasty on the inside because I can clean it so thoroughly. So this tumbler is actually an amazing buy. I love it for its price point and for the cool features that it comes with. Um, it's just absolutely amazing, very fantastic, and I would highly recommend this to any avid water drinker like myself. You know, speaking of which, guess what, y'all? Guess what it's time for? You guessed right. Hydrate, dehydrate, grab your water bottles and drink some water. Absolutely fantastic. Excuse me. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Uh, next up, we have a product covered by Merle. It is the uh, Flybird Adjustable Weight Bench. Um, and he's going to show us basically all the settings that you can put into, how easy it is to customize, and how easy it is to set up. So let's get right into that. Another great thing about this bench is its customability. There are six backrest positions, three seat positions so you can get in the right position for the right workout so this is the first back first seat so let me go ahead and adjust this real quick and i'll show you the next ones sorry i lied there's four seat positions so this is seat position two back position two let's go ahead and take that down another notch and here's position three and three here is four and four I've got two more to go on the back. And this is number five on the back. The seat's still sitting at four. And this is six on the back, four on the seat. Great thing is you can move these independently. So if you need to lay completely flat, you can use six and one like that. Or if you're trying to do something a bit more you know, upright, you can move it like that. So it really depends on what you are doing, and this bench can get you in that position. That's left to, all that's left for you to do is for you to do it. Merle just with the straightforward advice. So a really good, I, this is perfect for anyone who has a at-home uh, gym. 
uh, or they want to start getting one. Uh, so you have, you know, an adjustable weight bench. You can do different types of workouts, whether you need, you want to be straight up and just curling, or you want to be laying down to bench press. You have all the customizability options with this really awesome Flybird adjustable weight bench. Now Flybird, Justin does a lot of their products too, and they have a bunch of other stuff that you can definitely check out. Uh, if you are looking to renovate your home gym or renovate to make a home gym, it's definitely worth checking out for sure and you know flybird makes high quality stuff so you know it's going to last the test of time for sure and it's just uh you know for its price point you can never invest too much into your home gym because it's always gonna for the most part balance itself out because it's those pesky gym fees and membership stuff that you don't have to pay for anymore that is just a straightforward investment all up front and then you never have to worry about paying anything again so definitely uh fantastic and, and worth checking out for sure Next up, we have another, we have two Merle products in a row. I don't think that happens too often, but it's for a, um, a laptop backpack, um, the love book. I think that's how you say it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it up and let him do his thing. It's a women's backpack, but, uh, you know, gender has no boundaries here. Today we're looking at a love book back carrying bag. It comes with this case, uh, small bag to put your desired notebook, tablet, laptop, whatever the case may be, to help provide a little extra protection. And in the bag itself, we have a small front pocket right up here. Great for any kind of writing utensils, etc. We have a small accessories bag, great for chargers, or extra batteries, or memory cards, Whatever the case may be. Up here we have a much deeper pocket, which is great. I love the way that this backpack looks. Like the material looks absolutely amazing. Great for, I would think, like notebooks or. Um, we have a drink holder, bottle holder on one side, as well as on the other. On this side, we also have our USB connection, which you can put a battery bank or power pack or something in here to use that to charge devices off of. And the main compartment, let's get this open. Oh, I like that collapse. And in here is the main deal. So Merle is borderline violating this backpack. We've got a... But hey, he's showing us everything that we need, so it's great. A small zipper section right here, which actually goes all the way down. Another great place for folders, files, notebooks. This is going to be the primary laptop, tablet, notebook section. And there's the other end of that charger I was talking about. In here we've got a place for pins, got small side pockets down here to help organize all of your stuff. And I envision my wife digging change at it here for a week. <laughs> I like that little comment and that was pretty great. But as you can see, absolutely fashion forward backpack that you can pick up as a laptop backpack, uh, you know, to promote women's fashion, you know. If you know a fashionable lady in your life or a fashionable dude, I mean, you know, this 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 uh, backpack transcends gender borders. So definitely worth checking out. Uh, looks absolutely amazing. You know, definitely a buy to pick up. I love the material that's made of and the color. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and it has a lot of cool features such as the anti-theft pocket, the elastic water bottle pockets, napkin pockets, and just a whole bunch of other stuff that really do add to the fashion forwardness of it. Um, now, 
Moving on to, a, I just realized that I have the wrong link for this next product. So I'm actually going to skip the uh, Sinji Sin pet monitoring dog treat dispenser until I can figure out if I can find the right link for it. So my apologies for that. I've been doing some research while I've been uh, streaming just to try to find the video, the correct video link to it so I can show you because I currently don't have this product on hand. So I really couldn't show it to you. But that being said, we're going to move on to the Ulax motorized top down bottom up automatic blinds uh which i was super excited about because this was my first video that i got to do with the actual uh zv1 that i was telling you guys about that i showed you guys earlier and i was really excited to make this video and not only that but this product is absolutely fantastic what's up wiley welcome to the stream happy to have you here um but absolutely amazing. Um, I love these things. And they, I, you know, we had some old kind of broken down old school blinds and I'm just so happy that we were able to modernize the blinds in our room. And so I'm really excited to show you guys this video because I worked really hard on it. So this is gonna be one of the few videos where I play all the way through uh, and don't skip. And I'm, it's not just because it's my video, but kind of is because it's my video and I put a lot of work into this. So I was, I'm super happy to show you guys this video. Hey guys, it's your boy Nikita from Dragon Blockers. Here I have finally installed my Ulax automatic blinds. I absolutely love these things. They're super cool. And I'm basically going to show you how they work. First off, it comes with this really cool clip that's really easy to install. You just put two screws into the wall into the back plate and you clip it on. But it holds the remote. And what's really cool about it is that it features a magnetic clip to the back of the remote. So when you put it on there, you don't have to worry about it falling off. And when you want to take it off, you simply, you know, just pull it off and set it back on. You don't have any worries. Of course, the remote itself is really cool and has a bunch of awesome features that really do make these automatic blinds perfect. So right here. I loved all the effects and stuff that I got to do with this video. I'm so proud of this video. I start off by <laughs> pressing the down button and it's on channel one because I only have one set of blinds. Uh, so, you know, if it's a different number, it's set up to a different blind. But since this is my only one, this is channel one. And when I press the button, as you can see, it slowly starts to descend. Now, what's cool about this is that if you leave it to descend on its own, once it realizes also, speaking of which, while this video plays, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. Sorry, guys. I've been hydrating just a little bit too much, but I will be back shortly. I promise you. So stay tuned and please enjoy the rest of this video. Also, as PC Phil just mentioned, $66 clippable coupon for these blinds. And thank you so much for that, PC Phil. You know I love you. You always got my back. Realizes that it, it's reached the bottom and gone its full length. It'll start going back up. So this is the day side. I can't leave down, yet. Which lets gotta, in um, a really good go. amount of light. It makes the room, you know very comfortable and has a lot of nice lighting but as you can see it causes the camera to make the rest of the room dark because of how much it lets in and then you hit that middle button and that's how you pause it however after you pause it you press the down button again or you just let the down button keep going uh, eventually the night side will come out and this side is really cool because it basically does an amazing job at blocking out almost all the light coming from outside and as you can see the area around the blinds the camera is actually able to focus on it better because there's not too much light coming in from the day side anymore and you can actually see the lighting of the room from the lamps on the side which i think is cool it does an absolutely amazing job and these are the night mode is perfect for well night because you know you don't have to worry about anyone seeing in and it's even good for the day because it blocks out so much sun now i've sped this portion up by three times just to kind of show you what i was talking about so the day I'm back, everyone. And yes, hydrate or dihydrate, be busy and PC filled. The night mode was up, and now the night mode is going back down, and the day mode is showing. And then it's going to cycle all the way through, and the night mode is going to come back up. And this is basically how you have to run it to make sure that it closes the blinds, um, you know, from no mode. So you just let your window show, essentially. And it's really easy to use. Another thing that I like is that though the battery portion will actually hold a charge if you want it to, or if it was running out. You could always plug it into the nice long cord that they give you to either keep it charged, recharge it, or just always keep it plugged in. It just really depends on your personal preference. So this is just me messing around with the down and pause features, but I, I was just doing this to make sure, you know, I could stop it where anywhere I want to. And you can see once you press that middle button, it stops the blinds in action. So if you're looking for an amazing motorized top down, bottom up shades with a remote control, Ulax did an absolutely amazing job. And this is definitely the one to check out. I love this thing so absolutely.
I I I I loved that video. I loved making uh I love I loved making that video and I love that product. It was just a really great product. I've always wanted these automatic automatic shades like that and getting to finally have and showcase that set is like a dream come true. Honestly, working with and for Dragon Bloggers has been like a sort of small like dream come true essentially because i've gotten so many products that i've always been curious about so many products that have changed the way that i live my life and have made my life better like whether it's it's these ulax automatic shades the eufy security stuff that i have on my home around my home the drc rc products that i get to run around in my backyard just a dragon bloggers has been an absolute improvement to my life and i am forever thankful to justin and mrs dragon blogger for bringing me on to the team and letting me get to review and share these cool products with you guys it really is a really cool um thing to do and i enjoy i enjoy doing this so much for you guys moving on to our next product we have the atipa inflatable sleeping pad for camping jackie covers this one and we get to see her cute little precious dog in the video too so i'm gonna go ahead and get that one pulled up so we can go ahead and watch that together Hello everybody, today we are checking out the Atepa sleeping pad, so let me put it together and then we will talk about it. So here it is, have to test it inside today, the weather outside is not great for <laughs> full testing. It did come with two little wraps when you wrap it all up and a patch if there's a hole in it. It took about a few, I think about 15 breaths for me, it said about 20 or so. Here it is. Okay, trying to get a good tall angle, but I am fine. I love the like texture pattern this thing has. It's really cool. Five, eight or so. It sounds crunchy. I like that. I don't know why. It's the, the crunch is pleasing to the ears. Clearly there is more than enough room for me the full way. So, and my dogs apparently too. So. It, yes, we will go camping, I promise. So, here it is. Here it is. At the full height, it is very soft, very squishy. Okay, thank you, buddy. I know, I know. I know. It's crunchy. I just love how crunchy it sounds. <laughs> so, it is also water resistant and designed to keep out all of the cold but also keep in all of your heat as well. Very soft, very simple, right to the point. Let me see what it's like to roll back up and see if I can get this all closed mat together. So all in all, it took about a minute to wrap back up, which really is not bad. I've tested a lot of camping sleeping pads and that was really not as bad. And it does help that it comes with the bands to keep it in place. My job is a little sloppier than as it originally came, but that's not too bad. And that is the sleeping pad. So Jackie did an absolutely amazing job covering that product. Um, but as you can see, very straightforward. Again, a really simple product to use. A really, I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I was geeking out because it's it's the way it sounds. I don't know. That sound is that crinkling sound uh, is really pleasing to my ears. So I love getting to hear stuff that sounds like that. So. That was like my favorite part of the video. <laughs> That's why I was geeking out, but absolutely fantastic weatherproof, waterproof um, sleeping pad to have. Uh, that's inflatable for if you're going camping anything outside you could even use it to make a little pallet on the inside if you wanted to have like a couple guests over maybe have like a movie night in your den or something and lay down on the ground it'd be really cool for that um and for the price point uh it's absolutely amazing the feature that it has with those two bands to roll it up to and store it takes up absolutely no space and it's just a fantastic little sleeping pad to have so if you're a camping enthusiast or you're looking for something to sleep on uh, on outside definitely worth checking out hey nikada are you into racing games so I love Need for Speed, definitely one of my favorite game franchises. I also really love the Burnout series when I was growing up, like Burnout was so fun, uh, but I never really liked Forza and stuff like that, like the realistic kind of gaming stuff where you can't speed up going around corners, you got to slow down or you're going to crash, like that kind of stuff. I never really liked those, but I definitely love Need for Speed and Burnout for sure. 
Um, and I, I, I do enjoy racing games, especially ones where you have to like outrun the cops. Like I love doing stuff like that. Um, those have always been my favorite, but yeah, I do. I do enjoy, I do enjoy me a good racing game. Next up on our list is another product that I have to show you guys just up front. I actually have it with me. It's apparently 30% off too. Um, if you know someone who likes to go to the spa or you yourself are looking to give yourself a, a nice little spa day, this Spa Lux Teak Set is what I call the treat yourself product because it's really good for stuff like that. I also, you know, I also love the Mario Kart type of games too. I, you know, it's funny. I, I really don't consider that racing, but you know, it, it is a racing game. But yeah, I love Mario Kart style. Um, my headset is the Arctic set, Arctic Seven, the Steel Series headset. I absolutely love this set headset. In fact, if this one for some reason ever broke on me, I would just get another one of these because this is the best wireless headset I've ever had. Um, but this spa set is absolutely amazing. You get so many cool goodies, and it comes in this really awesome bag too. Um, and like I said, if you like spa or is it the the PS version? No, this is the PC version. Um. I think you could use this with the PlayStation, maybe. I'm not sure. But th this is definitely the PC version. Um, but what I love about this thing... Uh, oh, you have the black Arctis headset. I See, I thought about getting the black one, but the white one looks so much cleaner to me, so I, I, I picked it up. Um, but I love this thing because you can use it at home. You can take it with you uh, if you're going to like a hotel, you're going to stay somewhere, or you're going on vacation. This is a really awesome treat yourself present. I'm going to show you all the stuff that it comes with. So it comes with some lavender bath salts, some hand cream. I love this hand cream, by the way. It has shea butter in it. All the creams and stuff have like shea butter in it. That's another thing that I appreciate. It comes with bath bombs. I love bath bombs. Absolutely amazing. I want a white one because I have black light in my game room. Ooh, Eric, you fancy. I see you. That sounds awesome. I need to get black light. Can you send me a link to your headset? Yeah. Do you want me to send it here or do you want me to send it um, on like Discord or something? Where would you prefer it? But just after, after this product, I'll be sure to send it to you wherever you prefer um it also comes with this nice little like sponge loofah a scrubber that has these plastic little nubs that really help exfoliate it comes with some nice body scrub i love using this body scrub by the way also this is the lavender scent and for those of you who don't know lavender is one of my favorite scents slash essential oils so i love the way this smells it also comes with some massage oil to really you, you know the massage oil and the hand cream work really good with like syncom hand massagers or like a fit king hand massager it comes with a nice bar of soap it also comes with some bubble bath which you can pair with the bath salts and the bath bomb if you want to then it also comes with some shower gel too and then the last two products that it comes with are this really nice shampoo bar and then it has body lotion which i've used a decent amount of this as you can see um and i just absolutely love this set it's just been absolutely amazing i've used a couple of the stuff from it i've been trying to save the bath bombs for like a special occasion because um you know i love my bath bombs i don't have a jacuzzi tub anymore like i did in my old place um so i really want to wait till i have something like that maybe but otherwise, this set is absolutely amazing for the price. It's really worth it. So like I said, if you're looking to give someone a gift um, for, you know, uh, a treat yourself kind of day, or if you want to get yourself a gift for a treat yourself kind of day, because in the spirit of treat yourself, treat yourself, um, this is definitely one worth checking out. Absolutely love everything from Spa Lux Teak. I have another set from them also, um, and everything smells absolutely amazing. They're just fantastic, and I would highly recommend um, I'm going to move on to the next product. Um, it's another SEMA product. James does the first one, and then I do the following three SEMA products, or four, actually. Uh, but this is the SEMA X700. It's a nice little foldable drone, and James covers this one. And then while I play this video, uh, Eric, I'm going to get you the link to my headset so I can send it to you. I actually have a video on there, too, that I posted. But we're going to go ahead and get to this first, and then I got you, Eric. I, I promise. I'm here from Dragon Ball Water. Today with a quick unboxing of a a quick unboxing and it's a 10 minute video y'all new product this is from sema this is their x700 foldable drone this is their new drone on the market so the blades fold up oh it's absolutely not a problem i just wanted to make sure i knew your preference it is a quadcopter or helicopter style but i'll get more into that in a second like i said this is the x700 it is foldable it is has a uh, takeoff and control so it has altitude hold it has one button key takeoff land and a hold 
so it takes off and lands by one button. It has altitude hold, which is really cool, you know, so you can get it to a certain altitude hold to hold it, and then you can just hold and drift. It has high and low speed. It also has a 360 flip and roll, which is kind of cool, so it does 360 or a flip. It is a 2.4 gigahertz controller, so you'll get about 30 meters of flight distance away from you, which isn't bad. Now, it Okay, I've got the link for you. Here you go, buddy. I'm sorry it's so... Hold on, I can shorten that for you. Justin taught me how to shorten Amazon links. And I'm actually so glad that he taught me how to do that because it makes it so much easier. Watch this. Ready? This is the same link, just shortened. I'm amazing. It comes with two batteries, two 500 milliamp, 3.7 volt batteries, which gives you about 10 minutes of flight time but it'll take about 80 minutes per battery to charge. So about three hours charge time for two batteries to give you 20 minutes of flight. Not a bad deal, but you know, not the best deal also. But you know, what can I say? You can't, you can't really complain. Now let's pop this open and show you guys. I love how it says you can't really complain right after complaining, only James. So I'm gonna go ahead and what skip ahead to where he actually does the unboxing and kind of shows us the video. Um, as you know, with SEMA, they're really good about giving you extra stuff. So while it comes with two batteries, it also comes with extra propellers for the drones. So that if for some reason you have a mishap, like I, I tend to have and run into something or fly into something, you have replacements so you don't have to dread not being able to fix your own drone. Pops open, here's a battery. Let's see this pops open. There's a battery in here. So getting it out may be finicky. It's, it slides out. It's a tight little fit. It's actually already plugged in, so that's a first. That's a first. This man has never had a SEMA product, I can tell you that much. We'll leave it there. Up here is the power button. Hold it down. Anytime, Eric. No problem, man. Happy to help you. And if you have any questions about other, um, you know, PC peripherals that I may use that you may be interested in, feel free to ask too. Jesse, come on. We're powered on. Yeah. Seema, if you're out there, please send me a drone also. I love your products. They're absolutely amazing. I would love a drone. Cough, cough, Seema, please. Now, I'm going to shut that back off by hitting the power button. We do not want that on right now. The bag. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip to where he shows us buying this thing. Oh, so also keep in mind that with SEMA products, let's see, do you know if you have a, wait, if you can have a 3.5 cable connected while having, you can? Okay, so the way it's gonna work though, is that you're going, they're going to register as different audio devices. So you'll have to switch it in your, in your Windows volume mixer, but it will pick it up. It's just that one's going to be like whatever audio driver you have. So for me, um, if I had this plugged in, uh, with the the adapter and plugged into the 3.5 millimeter cable, it one will actually be it'll say Steel Series Arctis Seven, and then one's gonna be like Real Tech Audio or something. So you can have both connected in, but you have to. It depends on whatever audio device you have selected through Windows is what it's going to play through. No buttons, power. There's your power on. Up trim stuff like that we will do this we will risk ourselves now you guys may not see if i remember correctly and i i can test this tonight and get back to you the next time that i stream or if you're a part of the discord i can message you there but the last time i tried i wasn't able to use it see mine's not bluetooth mine i i don't know if you can if i can pull it so you can see it but i have this little adapter here it's, it's hard to let me see if I can. I have this little adapter here that I use that this is what's connected to. And this one is USB, USB into my actual computer. And it's kind of like a transmitter. Um, and so that's what I use uh, personally. So maybe that's why, but I've never, I've never had it parallel audio before. So I, I couldn't tell you that much. I see it on the ground, but you'll probably see it hover to pair this up and get it running. Bolt down in a V. Is he gonna fly this drone in his house? No way, he does. That kind of hover mode. What a brave man. Mm 
I just hit my computer, but so that's how remote that's his home. <laughs> this is why you don't fly drones on the inside, people. But as you can see, SEMA did an amazing job on this drone. They did a, they do an amazing job on all of their products, honestly. I love SEMA products. They always make me really happy, and they're one of my favorite RC brands, regardless of if you um <laughs> wait until James trims his curtains and his wife walks in. I know, right? <laughs> but SEMA does an amazing job on all their stuff. Um they have a helicopter that I've done. They have uh, boats. They have hovercrafts. They have all sorts of products. So if this product interests you, or even if it doesn't interest you, it's definitely worth clicking the product page to go ahead and check out and see the other products that they have um, available. <laughs> this next one up is one that I enjoyed. It's kind of like a hovercraft style. This is the Q11. Um, and I got to basically do it um, in the pool. Uh, at my old place. Now, what you're going to notice is a lot of these openings are going to be the same. So I'm probably going to skip them for the most part. But basically with Seaman products, for the most part, you always get two batteries. The remote uh, the, the controller for it will always need uh, its own separate batteries, whether it be double A AA or triple A, it just depends on what products you have. And then basically from there, it's really easy. They always include a screwdriver so that you can install the batteries and stuff, which I absolutely appreciate. Some come with magnetic screwdrivers, some do not. It just depends on what model you have. And so uh, basically this is the Q11 and it's just fantastic. This one can go over ice water and you can put it um, on grass and it will hovercraft over the grass too which i thought it was really cool so i just unboxed my and let y'all know you have to hold this button here for a little bit and then it's good to go you can just drop it in the water make sure that your remote is also on you'll see the green light and then you can start going if you want to back it up you just pull the trigger up of all now i will say this about specifically the q11 of all their models this one goes backwards the best and it's because it has those air jets on the top and then once you want to go the other ones that, that are water vehicles rely on their propellers in the actual water so most of the time you just end up treading water rather than really going backwards it will go backwards some bit but this one goes backwards the best before you you pull the trigger down and you can turn the knob to direct it whichever way you want to go and this thing will just get to going now you can use it on other surfaces besides just water, but I felt like water did this one just so much more justice. And it's just, it's just so fun to just get going around and stuff. And as you can see, it has no problems functioning no matter which way you turn it. I can even make it spin around. I absolutely love this thing and it's definitely fun for all. I was having way too much fun with this, honestly. All ages. So if you're looking for a nice land, ice and water, vehicle that's remote control this is definitely going to be one that you should check out i love semen products and they do it like i said they do an amazing job on absolutely everything that they make that was the q11 next up is going to be you guessed it the q12 another uh boat by them that i love now this boat the q12 is the fastest model of sema boat that i have tested to date fastest boat period uh i should have used it to terrorize some ducks but i didn't because i'm a i'm a good samaritan but this thing is absolutely fantastic and ridiculously fast. this is my uh sema with fabricated you guys know how to boat out in the pond and uh there's some ducks around i hope i don't scare them but i'm gonna basically this this thing is so fast i i just want to let you know that in this video i said i hope i don't scare them to try to please the masses i absolutely terrorize these ducks afterwards and i am not ashamed or sad about it it's great that's right i confess to my crimes it's really easy to use. You just simply, you don't even have to use the, the trigger to go forward, although the trigger will take it forward. Um, and you can, you can tread water backwards too. The backwards function kind of. So yeah, this is what I was telling you about. Like the, the hovercraft, the Q11 does the best job at going backwards. The rest of the boats kind of struggle with it, but they still will go backwards. You just got to sit there and hold it for a long time. But honestly, if you're, if you're in the, like, if you're trying to go fast, it's better to just go forward around in a circle if you want to go backwards to loop Works around. Not so great, but um, if you use the spin wheel, it will just automatically go um, without needing to pull the trigger but if you pull the trigger it will go a little bit faster which i think is cool but for the most part this is a great toy to have especially if you have a pond or a lake that you can take it to and drive it around um, so if you're looking for an awesome boat definitely check out the sema q12 it's absolutely amazing and it's a ton of fun
I I know I keep saying it, but SEMA products are just absolutely top tier, absolutely fantastic. This is the fastest model um, of any kind of boat that I've tested to date. It just go new. It go real fast. Um, and again, like all other SEMA products, it also features um, the, the two batteries that it comes with. Uh, the controller still needs uh, separate batteries. I think this one, that one used double A's. Um, and it came with a really nice screwdriver to help install the batteries in both the controller and to the boat itself. Moving up to the next product, this is the Q9. This is another boat, and I love the design of this boat. It's not as fast as uh, the Q12, but it is faster than the Q11. Um, and I, it always reminds me of like a bat boat, like the Batmobile. Um, and so that's one of the reasons that I love this thing so much. But again, it's it's a SEMA product, so I knew I was gonna love it, and it's high quality and absolutely amazing. This is one of the first ones that they sent me, um, and I didn't know I was going. To be a SEMA lover, but now I am, and they've made a believer out of me. So I just unboxed my results. From the remote, it starts working automatically. So yeah, this one's fast. Like I said, this one's faster than the Q11, but not as fast as the Q12. You just pull the trigger to go forward, or you can kind of backtrack. And again, this one struggles a little bit to go backwards, also, but that's okay. By pushing up on the trigger, if you go forward and turn the little knob wheel down it'll turn to the right and then if you go the opposite way it'll turn to the left and you can just do a bunch of different stuff it's really fun um great for all ages if you want to take it out into open water if you want to use it how i have it here in the pool it's just a really fun little nice cool <laughs> toy to use so um, if you're looking to check out an rc boat this is definitely one that you should look at But yeah, definitely a really cool product. Uh, all the SEMA products are just amazing. That was all water vehicles. And of course, James was an air vehicle. But I'm going to show you guys one of my absolutely favorite SEMA products. I was terrible at showcasing how awesome it is, but I do showcase how durable it is for sure because I was crashing this thing left and right. But this is the SEMA S39, and it's my by far my favorite helicopter ever. So it's definitely worth checking out. It looks amazing. I love the style that it's in and it's very lightweight too which was what shocked me the most when i crashed it into a rock because there was absolutely no dent on it so i'm excited to show you guys this one hey guys i got another the helicopter down you put the back of it facing the pilot and then you want to turn it on on here too to sync it up you throttle one of my favorite things about this also is the xbox style controller that it has too i really like that. up and then down and then the light on here once you do that should stop blinking so okay it's solid now put it down and to start and as you can see it features my amazing crocs Start it. you just lift on the elevation side which is the left side Basically, the left side is for elevation, up or down, higher or lower. The right side is for direction. Oh. <laughs> so I I'm not even going to lie. I let my girlfriend do this one because I already knew I was going to be bad. And I'd rather blame it on her than have the blame fall on myself. So I apologize, babe. But uh, you had to take the, take the rep for this one. I recovered the... Uh, helicopter. I probably should have given my girlfriend some time to practice with it before just <laughs> throwing her out to make this video. But as I was saying, this is the button that basically controls the uh, altitude, higher or lower. This is what turns it. This rotates it clockwise. This rotates it counterclockwise. And this button uh, is what uses to go faster speeds or slower speeds. So if you want to just start the plane itself, all you have to do is tilt up on this. And then it'll start spinning and it'll prime and it'll get to a certain speed. And if you don't do anything else, then it'll just simply cut off. So you know it's not just sitting there running. But we're going to give it a trial test number two just to kind of show you it flying around and everything. And then you can decide if this is something that you want to pick up. And boink. <laughs> well, it works for a little bit.
<laughs> so admittedly, it's going to take a little bit to get used to, but it's super fun. It's actually super durable. You guys saw it crash those two times. The second time against the rock, which was I was so shocked that none of the propellers on this thing broke at all. Like this thing is really durable. It's kind of unfortunate. But me and my girlfriend are both terrible at flying this thing. But no damage was sustained, no scratches on it. So it is durable, though it's super light, and the frame is really strong for it. Um, it's probably better for a more advanced flyer than I am, but this is definitely worth checking out. Just remember that uh, though the helicopter itself is rechargeable, this does take four AA batteries, so you're going to make sure you have to have those on hand. But if you're looking for a nice RC helicopter, definitely check out this SEMA model. This is the SEMA S39. Love the S39. Absolutely amazing and fantastic helicopter. Super lightweight and super durable as I showed you because I, my, my girlfriend actually, my girlfriend crashed into a rock and, and it go boom, but it, it don't go break. So just keep that in mind. Also, before I get into the next product, can everyone do me a favor and type their favorite Star Wars character in the chat for me? Just a real quick quick thing if you if you're here and you, you can hear my voice type your favorite star wars character in the chat i may or may not have a surprise for you uh but moving on to the next one y'all know me i'm a plant guy i love my smell goods and i love my water also don't forget hydrate or dehydrate y'all time to stay hydrated but this next product is a um a super fun product um because i love my plants and i love i love the terracotta aesthetic so i was super happy to get these um these these pots and pans because they're absolutely fantastic um and you know that you get a a, a a 18 pack of them and so it's really uh cool to use and also victoria i see your message please stay tuned for like less than 10 minutes and i got a surprise to show you i promise so these are some awesome plastic terracotta themed plant pots and I absolutely love them now at first glance you would think that they are actual real terracotta pots which I love but when you touch them like you know immediately that they're plastic but that doesn't take away from the amazing aesthetic that they provide to my plants I put two plants in here and they come with a pack of 18 so it's absolutely amazing you get a bunch of different pots that you can uh, rearrange however you want to and what I also like about them is that for each pot, they come with this nice little pan. Also, currently, if you're a pot person, these are, or if you're a pot person, if you're a plant person, these are currently 32% off, so definitely worth checking out. They're amazing. They're not like flimsy plastic. They're hard plastic, and they will last. That you can see at the bottoms here um, to catch water, and so I'm looking forward to putting a bunch of my plant babies into these new pots. I'm about to show y'all all my, anytime I do a plant video, I got to show y'all all my little plant babies. Um, I have a bunch of different plants over here and stuff. Some that I really want to repot into those plants. This isn't even all of them. We have some that are similar colors, but I just rather have the, all of them be in terracotta style if I can. So I'm looking forward to doing that and getting everything um, set up. But if you're looking for some really awesome terracotta style pot plants to have, these are definitely ones that you're going to want to check out. So just straightforward product, really nice pots. You get a bunch of them. I love plants too, Busy. And I just think it's amazing that, because at first glance, they look like real terracotta pots. But when you touch them, you realize it's plastic, but it's thick, durable plastic too. So like I said, they will last the test of time. And that's basically all of the videos that I have for you today. Now, of course, you guys know that I love to end my streams on Star Wars products. So um, this one, I, I, this is where I give my shout out to PC Phil. PC Phil saw these on stream one day and uh, he actually picked these up for himself and sent me a picture of them. And I, I love it when, um, you know, like the people who follow pick up products that we recommend. So it made me really happy. These are currently 57% off too. So definitely worth getting. PC Phil, if you want to get a second set, definitely uh, is now's the chance to go to get it but they're they're regular about thirty dollars right now they're about thirteen dollars um yes yes i love these so these are the darth these are styled after darth vader's um lightsabers and these are the oh, is my battery dying oh no my battery's dying no oh. but these are the darth vader ones also lino cole thank you so much for the follow welcome to the dragon blogger tech and entertainment live show you caught us at the end but i'm glad you're here these are the red ones they look absolutely amazing i got my lights on um 
and they're super bright. So I promise you, and PC Phil will tell you this also, seeing them on stream does not do these things justice. These are so bright and vivid. I love them. But these are the ones that are styled after uh, Anakin Skywalker, or after Darth Vader. And then these blue ones are styled after Anakin Skywalker's uh, lightsabers. And they're a nice shade of blue. Absolutely fantastic. And I, I love these. I take these out whenever I go to like a ramen bar or anything. Um, I, I love taking these with me. They're absolutely fantastic. I even, whenever I make noodles at home, I'll sit there and I, I, I had um, some noodles with me uh, that I used when I was watching um, Kenobi. And it felt so cool to use the Darth Vader ones on episode five. I was like, I picked a good episode to use these. And it was just, fa yes, you do. I promise you you will not regret it eric they're absolutely amazing these are super fantastic and i i love the way they feel in the hand they're weighted really nicely and um you know they, they're easy to clean and reusable but that's the last product that i have for the night so i asked people while they were here who their favorite star wars character was and victoria answered yoda and she was the only answer that i saw but i love people asking uh you know for their favorite uh star wars character because i have a lot of lights i have a lot of lightsabers super super <laughs> I, I have too many lightsabers and since she mentioned yoda i figured for the end of stream before i go since i had a little bit of extra time i'd show you guys yoda's lightsaber that i have i haven't pulled the stickers off of it yet but this is yoda's lightsaber i love this lightsaber a lot because it's a lot smaller than a lot of the other lightsabers um it's a really awesome one i should have added to the carousel honestly but of course the diminutive jedi master has an amazing blade and it's just super cool. Um, as I was saying last time, my favorite uh, Star Wars movie of all time is Episode Five: Empire Strikes Back. And I love the scene where Yoda and R2-D2 are fighting in the Dagobah Swamp. Um, and it just makes me laugh every time. I just, it, it's, it's so funny to me. My favorite character is Qui-Gon Jinn. I haven't got his lightsaber yet, but it's on my list. I love Qui-Gon also. I just love Liam Neeson, honestly. Um, but definitely love him. Same, episode five. Yes, 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 the battle of hot. I love episode five. But yeah, since, uh, Victoria mentioned that her favorite character was Yoda, I figured at the end of the stream, I forgot to add it to the carousel, but I figured I'd show off Yoda's lightsaber before I dip for the night. Uh, but that is all that I have to show you guys. Thank y'all so much for being here tonight. I really appreciate y'all. Um, if you, uh, wait, I'm so sad that he didn't make it through the first episode. Yeah, honestly, I've, I was too. I've read a lot of lore about Qui-Gon Jinn and I love it. He's basically like, the weird hippie of the Jedi Order at the time, and it's really funny to me. <laughs> but yeah, hydrate or dihydrate. The chopsticks are amazing, Victoria. But again, thank y'all so much for being here tonight. Happy to always stream for you guys. You're all wonderful, busy, Victoria, Eric, PC Phil, Ed. Love you guys. Thank y'all so much for being here tonight. And I will catch you all next week uh, when I stream on my regularly scheduled Monday and Tuesday, unless I have to do a random show throughout the week. But stay tuned. If you're not following, make sure you hit that follow button to stay up to date to all of our Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live streams. But I have been your host for the night. Your host with the most, but no toast. Nikita. I will catch you all later. Peace out, Girl Scouts, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. And uh, to answer your question, Eric, uh, my current playthrough on stream is... Um is I'm doing the Star Wars Skywalker Saga. I'm going to be starting episode four um, on Twitch on, on Thursday. I've been playing through recently. So if you want to, uh, you know, hit me up on Discord and get my information about Twitch there, uh, feel free to. Uh, and make sure you join, you guys join the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment Discord so that we can answer all the questions you may have about products and stuff. But like I said, peace out, Girl Scouts, and I'll catch you all later.